Hello gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, continuing on with the tutorial series. So I'm going to do a few things kind of early on in this episode. I want to get uh, this water draining in, in down here. And then I want to create a bio distiller, and that basically turns slime into algae. Uh, and because we're mining out some slime here, we need a good place for it to go. And so we'll set up a bio distiller. But to uh, kind of power things, and because we have some coal, instead of using these manual generators, um, or at least the one here, I'm going to build a coal generator to generate the power for this circuit here. So first things first, I want to drain this water. So I'm going to put the coal generator down here by the CO2 scrubber because it's going to give off carbon dioxide. And we're going to hook it up to this circuit here. And I may actually connect... I already have two batteries on that circuit, but I'm going to add two more just so that we kind of were efficient with our power generator with the coal. We'll probably disable this if we get low on coal, but this is just to free up uh, this one duplicate here so they're not just running on the wheel all the time. There is more coal on the map that we can get to, so. So I've kind of reorganized the circuits here. This top circuit uh, has the two massage tables, one deoxidizer, and two power wheels. And then I've got the musher, a deoxidizer, the air scrubber, and the pump on another circuit. And it's being powered mostly by the coal genera generator and then a little bit by this wheel here. That's bouncing things out a little bit better. The coal generator uses coal pretty quickly, so you can see it counting down here. It gets loaded with 500 kilograms at a time. We may want even more batteries on this circuit just so that we're super efficient with the use of our coal. So I'm going to build a couple more here. So here the water is flowing down out of here into our main water pit. This will allow the CO2 to fall down through the base to get to this air scrubber. So now that we have the floors kind of or more organized and good ventilation and this water area is now gone so that CO2 can flow down and the air scrubber can basically have a better time scrubbing all the CO2 out of the base. We'll probably need to put more of these in but for now uh, one will have to do. And the next thing I want to put in is a bio distiller, which takes in slime and outputs algae and polluted water. So since we already have a polluted water line going here, I'm going to put the bio distiller right here. And it's going to need power. So we'll hook that up here. That way any of the slime that's hanging around in the base giving off polluted oxygen can be processed into algae, which we need. And we're going to need to pipe the polluted water. We use granite out of the biodistiller into this output pipe. Oh, I just realized our liquid pipe got broken somewhere along the way here, so we got to put that back. Our CO2 scrubber probably wasn't scrubbing all this time. <laughs> this little hatch here is basically eating all these materials here and producing coal for us, which is kind of nice, since we kind of need it. Set the bio distiller priority 8, just so they get the slime going in there. There it goes. So here we go, it's making tons of algae. And it'll use up our slime really quickly, but there's uh, there's huge amounts of slime down in the, in the map here, so 
when we need algae, we can just attack this slime essentially. The next thing I want to do is build showers. Um, if you look at if you look at your duplicates, they have they're grimy, uh, and that causes a uh, I think it causes them stress. Um, actually, it doesn't say anything when you hover over it. But I'm pretty sure it causes stress. So we're going to build them a shower. And that's under plumbing shower. And it needs a clean water input and a polluted water output. And we want it probably higher up in the base, at least so it's out of the CO2 and closer to their beds and stuff, because they're going to be using it a lot. I'm actually going to put it right here. That way I can get at this clean water line and then dump into this polluted water line. So if I put the shower right here, and put some granite piping, I'm going to branch off this line here. I think this will work. So clean water in, dirty water out. And the shower only uses water when it's in use. I'm also building a few fridges here, just because our fridge filled up. So there, the shower is all done and working. See the polluted water flowing out, clean water flowing in. So Ruby is grimy at the moment, but now that she's done the shower, she's not grimy anymore. I think that reduces stress. I'm not 100% sure. You would think it would. <laughs> and we have outhouses, but we can also build a lavatory, which is like a kind of a more advanced version of the outhouse. And it's similar. It needs clean water in. I'm going to leave some space between them so I can put a painting in there. Maybe I should use a statue. I'll, d I'll do a couple paintings in there instead. So it needs clean water in. So I'll branch off this pipe here. Kind of go over the top. And the dirty water output, I'll put down this way. Now, because I have a dirty water kind of dumping ground, because I have a dirty water dumping ground here, I'm allowed to, I'm able to do, to take the dirty water to the shower and the toilet and or laboratory and put it here. But if I didn't, one method people use and one method I've used is to use a filter. So under refinement there's a water purifier and you can kind of create a closed circuit. So you could pull clean water out of here, put it in the shower, put it into the water purifier, and then put the clean water back in here. But it requires sand and it requires energy to filter water, so I generally don't do it. Because ultimately we're going to use this polluted water to generate fertilizer, which is under refinement fertilizer maker. So we'll probably build one of those soon too. The outhouses are actually still useful because um, they generate fertilizer via compost. And they're kind of, they always kind of work, so. But they do give off a little bit of polluted oxygen, which is not nice. I'm also going to build a bunch of storage compactors down, kind of out of the way here. Maybe disassemble the ones up here. And then we can sweep up all the garbage in the base, which we really need to do. So our lavatory is done. So they should start using it soon. There, someone just, Meep just used it. I'm going to take on this new dupe, uh, Lindsay, because she's got diver's lungs and mediocre skills. And her expectations for decor and food are low. So I kind of want this uh, these episodes to be a bit shorter and a bit more detailed. So in this one, we covered kind of the shower, lavatory, biodistiller, cold generator. So I want to wrap up this episode. And... Uh, 
Let me know if you like this video, if you found it useful. Give it a thumbs up if so, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get alerted on future videos that I produce. And as always, thanks for watching.